Welcome everyone to HFN, also known as Hufi News. Definitely want to say a huge shout out to all of our trap watchers, the one who are prowling around the markets, trying to see what the trap has been up to, trying to see where the money is headed so that we can be in position and win in this space. If today's the first time ever seeing our video, you guys appreciate that there is actually someone on YouTube giving you price prediction as to where they're expecting the price to go. Hit the like button, share, and also subscribe here to the channel. If you want to learn more, again, join our team, join our community. We are here to ensure that everyone understands that the market is not confusing. You don't have to use technical indicators. You don't have to look at fundament fundamental analysis reports. You don't have to worry about any of that. The only thing you need to worry about is where price is and where price is going to go. So now we're going to talk about VeChain today on today's video. I wanted to come through, give everyone an update as to what the price has been doing since our last price prediction of VeChain. And you guys can tell that we played the strength into the market in this currency so far so good the price has increased our last video was back there on july 23rd 2021 you guys can see that the price has increased since that time 19.39 percent profitability had right there into the market for v chain if you guys were to get out right now not much 21 22 percent i mean 21 and a quarter percent increase in profitability there now ultimately we topped out around nine cents in v chain which is around 33 percent so either way it go, we're taking the loop from the trap. We're taking the money right back from him because he's trying to take it from us. So congratulations to you if he's able to capitalize on those gains since our last video. But now that is over, that is done with. So now let's see where he's going to go next so we can follow the money. All right. So check this out. I wanted to show you all, first of all, that, yeah, he has determined where the market restriction is, which is right here. Okay. We've seen the market in V chain find some restriction around nine and a half cents. You got to be careful of that because right now, all of this increase in volume right here that came into the market in V chain on July the 26th has been plaguing the movement higher in price. Now, take a look though, because following that particular day, following July the 26th, you guys can see that the market did not react to all of that selling that came through. We still saw the price in VeChain go higher the next day. So it tells me that there was enough interest coming into the market for VeChain that it didn't have any impact on moving the price lower. Just that easy, just that simple. So now let me show you all what's going on on the three day time frame into the market in VeChain. So far, so good, but we definitely need to be careful because there is selling going on over the last completed three days. Now, right now, like I told you, the market is still confirming that it's willing to purchase all of the selling that has been going on in VeChain. Are we seeing something different though on the two day time frame? Because we are. This market is still showing us that we're hitting some restriction around nine and a half cents to nine cents in VeChain. Five day time frame. So you guys can see it right there. So what I'm getting, what I'm here to tell you all is that I'm not really seeing a big movement to the upside or to the downside right now. You know, I know you may have heard and seen videos and read articles explaining how this may be the start of a new bull run. I'm not seeing that yet on these price charts, right? Only reason why I'm saying that is because especially in VeChain's particular situation, is that we're seeing the market closing off of these highs. We don't want to see that in order for a bull run to occur. So the market is currently digesting a lot of selling into the market. Okay. So I want everyone to keep a level head. I want everyone to remain calm and relax and don't try to get pushed into these positions because when you see and when you read articles about bull runs and the bull run is back and we're going to shoot up 50, 60, 70, 80, 90% it kind of induces you to try to jump into the market and play. But when you look at the chart, you're not really seeing all of that bullishness just yet. This is the weekly time frame. And again, we're seeing the same type of information on different time frames of how the market is showing us that there's some selling still going on in the space. So let me show you all the hourly time frame because I really want to see how weak the market is. Because that would definitely give us a lot of information in terms of, okay, where are we going to go? Because you can see here on the 13 hour chart that the market in VeChain is currently giving us a trend, right? Can you see that? The trend is still intact on an hourly basis. 
So that simply means that we're still on course to see the market in V chain go higher in price. It's just that simple. Next thing you guys can tell is that the market volume in V chain has been going lower and lower. That tells us that the weakness or the selling that was coming into the market around was that eight cents to nine cents is almost dried up. It's almost out the way so that the price in V chain can continue to go higher in price. That is what the dwindling of that volume means. Okay. So check this out right now. It's a mixed bag. I want to be honest with you. I want to tell you all what I'm seeing on the chart. And right now it's mixed. There's no bias. There's no more leaning to one side of the market, whether it's buying or selling that can show us that the market is going to continue to go higher or lower. We're not teetering or leaning more on each other side. OK, but now considering how the trend is still in play, considering how the market volume has been decreasing and considering how the market in V chain hasn't been moving to the downside over the last couple of hourly time frames, we're still going to play the strength into the market, though. OK, because what I'm seeing here on these hourly time frames is definitely I'm seeing weakness here, but the market is being bought up. Who's ever selling? There's enough interest here that people are willing to purchase V chain. So we're going to continue to ride with the market in V chain to higher prices. But I want us to be cool, calm and collected. I don't want to pump you all up and get you all to expect the price in V chain to show it there towards 26 cents. All right. That's ridiculous. But we can still see the market go higher, which is why we pinpointed nine and a half cents right around that vicinity might be a little bit less. But that's where we're going to eye the market in V chain to go. So let's do it. OK, like 0 0.093, 0 0.094 is where we're going to play this market in V chain to go. Right. That will be our first area of TP. You guys can actually see it's a little bit lower than that. Let me show you all the trend. It's probably right here to where the market will find some more restriction. OK, right around there, because we already did it on the daily time frame on June. I mean, July the 26th, we already hit that point. Market came down, was enough to buy up, did have an impact, which is why we're not going to really expect the price to hit there again. We're going to try to explode past that and go higher in price in V chain. OK, so now that's our first area TP right there around 0 0.094 second area will be around 10 cents even okay so let me extend it up there towards 10 cents a little bit lower which gives us around 20 percent probability i'm going to get rid of the support line considering that the market in v chain is on an upward trend and we're just going to pay attention to see how much selling comes into the market around 0 0.094 it's just that easy just that simple okay so now that's it this is our expectation as to where the money is going to go in v chain over the next two Maybe two weeks, right? I think it's going to be a lot sooner than that. But in two weeks, we're expecting the price in V chain to continue its momentum and higher progressional movement higher. So now I want to know what do you all think? You know, drop me a comment in the comment section and tell me what are you predicting in V chain's price? Where in the world is this market going to go? Because you need to get there. In order for you to grab the bag, in order for you to beat everyone else and dominate the space, you need to make sure that you're already in position. So tell me, drop me a comment in the comment section and let me know. Um, make sure you maintain a profitability. And as always, try different.